Hello, hello, all my Instagram fam. So I am going live here on Instagram to share about one question in particular. Um, one question in particular that I've been journeying with with our community and I see Lisa Gassaway is here live with me. So I'm going to see if I can bring her on live because this question has been like, Oh my gosh, how do I how do I bring you on live, mama? Or I wonder if you have the ability to request to come up or something like that, Lisa. But while while we're figuring this out, I want to ask the question, true or false? Your energy has nothing to do with your level of sales and productivity. So with that like here, let me see. I'm going to say invite to join and I'm going to say Lisa. So this question I've been asking over on Facebook for the last couple of weeks and we've been having conversations deep into this for, with different visionaries in different industries that run the gamut from, let's say, the financial industry to here i'll try it and request you again mama the financial industry to the to the coaching industry to i know lisa is coming in from realty and oh my gosh the podcast it like we've had so many different people coming in um and joining the conversation around true or false your energy has nothing to do with your level of sales and productivity. And so what I love about hearing everyone's different conversation is because I'm an energy healer, right? I love to study energy and its effects on different people, different businesses. Uh, let me see here. Lisa, whenever it tells me I get to request you to join, it says you're unable. I hope you're logged in on a on a cell phone. So we're gonna we're gonna see if that works. Like if you've ever gone live before on your account, um, this may. I think this is actually the first time that Lisa's doing this. Everybody, so whoa, we'll see if she's able to come on live. But what I love hearing about is I'm a constant student of energy. You know, okay, so I've. I'm a Reiki master, right? And I am specific. <laughs> there she is. Yeah. Yep. It didn't oh, work on God. the... I can't hear you. So I'm going to grab my headphones. But I was... Let me just finish my sentence before I grab my headphones. It might not be you. It actually it's probably my device. But um, being a Reiki master, it doesn't mean that I've mastered anything better than anyone else simply means that I am a constant student of energy. And that's why I want to have this conversation around, right, does, does your energy have anything to do with your level of sales and productivity? I'm an energy healer exclusively for conscious entrepreneurs. I've been doing it for the last 11 years. And I know Lisa is actually one of my current clients. So I'm going to go and find my headset because I want to hear what she has to say. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can so, anybody hear me? <laughs> I'm so glad that we figured, we're figuring out the technology goddess. It's working. Get there. Here, we work where did there. I put my headset? There it is. What a day this has been. Hi, Sunny. Hi, Rich. Oh, hi, Maria. Who else is in there? So, by the way, if this is a conversation for everyone that's watching in, if this is something that speaks to you, hit that share button or especially tag who is the person that you know who could answer this question best? Because I'm going around and interviewing all different kinds of of entrepreneurs, leaders, and business owners around true or false, your energy has nothing to do with your level of sales and productivity. And I'm going to plug in here, and I think I can hear now, Lisa. 
Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yay. It Yay. worked. <laughs> so tell me, like, before we have your answer, oh, my gosh, of course, as soon as I plug in, it jumps her out. Let me see if I can request her again. But I'm going to do, 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 request. Boom. So, Lisa, as you're coming back, uh, as Lisa's coming back, we're going to have her share a little bit more about, there you are. Welcome back, goddess. All right. Thank you. Yeah. So before you answer, yes. tell us a little bit more about yourself, who you are, what you do, where people can find you so that we know, especially what's your background? Like who and what are you representing as you answer this question, true or false? Your energy has nothing to do with your level of sales and productivity. So take it away, goddess. Tell us more about you. All right. Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me, and yeah. thank you for um, allowing me to participate in the challenge as well. I'm really looking forward to that next week. Um, we can talk more about that in a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm on this um, Instagram live as Lisa Gassaway Realtor. My main uh, gig these days is a realtor. Um, for 27 years, I did IT. Um, and so I, I guess I got tired of staring at a computer screen um, for 55 hours a day. And um, I was able to take a lot of my skills that I developed in 27 years uh, in IT over to real estate in project management, people um, support, um, supporting people to make good decisions. Mm. So... Um, it also gave me the flexibility of being able to do my other passions simultaneously uh, while doing real estate and helping people make good decisions in what is really their most, um, the biggest investment of their li lives in many cases. And I, I get how scary that is. Um, I think being an empath really helps me um, in that line of work because I, I understand and I want everyone that I work with to know that I have their back. And if they've worked with me before, they know that if they're new, they usually learn that pretty quickly because it's, it's, uh, that's what it's all about for me. I'm building relationships. It's not about um, getting a sale at all costs or forcing people into making decisions. It's about helping people to make good decisions and building mm. relationships. So um, that's what I do currently. Um, in addition, I'm a community um, activist. I work on our local community council as secretary. And there's some hot issues going on in Ventura these days. So, um, yeah, I'm, I was just before this meeting put it, putting together some posts for our community council to uh, address some of the development that's going on here that a lot of folks don't even know that they have an input, whether it uh, has to happen or not. Um, mm. So it gives me time, some uh, flexibility in my schedule. Um, also, I do feng shui consulting. Um, and, and again, that's an energy field. Um, so I like to help people um, design their home environment to support their energy and to support their goals. Um, and then um, I'm a musician as well. So um, that feeds my energy. Um, and I'd like to think it feeds other people's energy, the folks that I either am, you know, playing with in a band and the people that we perform for. Yeah. So um, that's what I do. I think you asked how people can get in touch with me. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, Lisa Gassaway, Realtor, is um, on Facebook and on Instagram. Um, LinkedIn, uh, just Lisa Shilp Gassaway. You'll never be able to spell Shilp, so I'll spell <laughs> it for you. Uh, it's S-C-H-I-L-P-P, -P, yep. Lisa Shilp Gassaway. Um, 
in on LinkedIn. So those are my three main places right now. Um, if there's anybody that has real estate questions, I actually help people all across the country. Um, I have friends that I connect with good conscious realtors in other parts of the country. I'm happy to um, help people's children who may be doing their first time home buying situation, walk through some of the challenges and get them on track. So you can always send me an email at Lisa Gassaway at kw.com. KW is Keller Williams. That's who I work for and love to work for because they support um, the values that I support as well. Mm -hmm. Yay. Ah, I love it. I love it. I love it. And everyone who's watching, please make sure you follow Lisa here on Instagram, uh, right? And just track all of the awesomeness that she's doing. And so let's then, now that we know who and what you represent and what you believe in and where you're coming from, right? And uh, by the way, I think you're one of 16, I think now, six going on, or, or maybe we might be at 17 different people that I'm having this like live conversation with. So I'm so excited. I think you're round five. Wow. Uh, like, woo, I'm so excited. <laughs> like, let's get to the main event of this question. True or false. And by the way, for everyone who's watching here on Instagram, whether you're watching live, put hashtag live if you're watching live, or if you're watching on the replay, put hashtag replay so that we know to include you in this conversation. I want you to answer this too, right? Lisa and I are having this conversation, but this is something I like, I, I want my own online university. I want my own, like, I don't want Google anymore. I don't want uh, what Merriam Webster has to say about this. Like, I wanna hear this from my people. Like, Lisa's my people. Right. Uh, our, I want to hear from our tribe what your take on it is, because you've been in the trenches, right, for decades, serving at the highest levels and loving people up. And you've seen this firsthand, like I've seen this firsthand. And I want to hear from you, from someone who's seen this firsthand, not from some dusty old white man's dictionary, <laughs> right, about <laughs> whether or not this is true or false. And I love um, unity and diversity, hearing many different points of view um, and having these kinds of probing conversations. So with that being said, the question is true or false, Lisa, you pick true or false. Your energy has nothing to do with your level of sales and productivity. Go. All right. I'm going to say that is false. All right. Good time. Um, <laughs> I'm going to put a caveat in there, though, because I think it's a little bit of a trick question. Yeah. You like to play games with people, <laughs> and it makes it fun. Um, so, you know, there's a difference between energy levels and energy types. Ooh. Okay? Um, so I would like to just point out at the start that you can have a – a low energy person, maybe a calming kind of person um, who, who is incredibly productive. And you can have a high energy person who is more like a cheerleader, um, you know, explosive personality who doesn't get much done. Mm. Okay. So, so I think that that's where it's a little bit tricky um, when you talk about energy types versus energy uh, amounts of energy. Um, but, you know, in terms of energy and production levels, I am becoming more and more aware of how my energy affects my production levels mm. and on so many different, um, levels. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a book, I don't know if you've heard of Cal Newport, and his book called Deep Work. Ooh, no, I haven't. Book. And um, actually a, a colleague of mine gave this to me when I was back in IT managing a team of people. And the way that uh, that company ran their business was, um, it was just, sorry, I've got to move something there. Um, it, it was so devastating to folks' energy. 
And Cal Newport, has, in his book, Deep Work, there's all kinds of statistics about how all of the distractions that all of us have in our day, our work day, our life, deteriorates our energy and our ability to concentrate. And some of that deterioration doesn't go away. Um, I feel like it does, it, it, you can make a comeback, um, but it's kind of hard because folks who are so used to everything being very immediate, quick, they have chats going on, they have email notifications popping up at them, they have people calling them on the phone asking for help about things. That it's hard to sit down and read a book and mm. focus after you are used to that type of um, input all the time. And I remember back when I was in software development, um, the developers asked many years ago, probably decades ago, they asked us, we, we need do not disturb hours. We need to be able to get into our code and we need to uh, be able to focus to fix these problems. And as a support rep at the time, I was not happy about that because I wanted to be able to call them up when somebody was on the phone saying our data is, you know, corrupted. <laughs> Uh, which that was a, a new software development company and that happened quite a bit. So I also mm. learned how to tap dance back in those days. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you know, the developers were absolutely right. And Cal Newport talks about this, that you um, each time you're distracted, you lose minutes of, of time. And so if that's what's going on in your work life all the time, you lose it. You lose a lot of productivity. And I'd say from an energy level, it gets disheartening. Mm. You can't do a good job. You're just, you go into work and you know that you're going to get bombarded with requests and with, you know, um, interruptions all the time. And um, so it's, it, br it brings your energy levels down and, and you just can't be productive. Um, so that's, that's one example. Um, another example I'll share from my own personal life is, um, you know, when, uh, when I was working in those types of jobs, you know, eight, nine, 10 hours a day, and I would come home from work and I'd just be done, exhausted. My energy was just depleted. Um, but then I might have band practice. And, and especially if we were creating songs, you know, or working on something that was really interesting and exciting. And lo and behold, you know, I had round two of energy that would come up because it was what, what was my passion. And um, yeah, so you, you, once you know that, you know, you know a little bit about your own energy, you aren't tricked by how you happen to feel at the moment. Mm. And, and you can also, as, as I've learned in your challenges and with having you as my coach, there are ways to shift your energy. If you're having a, a bad energy day, if you get into a fight with you know, a significant other or something doesn't go your way, you lose a client, um, you, know, you can sulk for the rest of the day you can sit on the couch and eat chocolate or you know whatever whatever you uh is your go-to um or you can figure out what you need to do to help what are what are your things that'll pick your own energy up um you know and for me um listening to music taking a walk um luckily i have a a a fun puppy right now, 10 month old Belgian Turbulent, who uh, gets me out walking all the time. And I I'm able to clear my head, clear my energy and get started again, mm -hmm. you know, and, and be very productive. So um, that's, that's my uh, long answer to your question. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. And oh, I know this is only the tip of the iceberg. This is so perfect. But like, what I love, oh, there's so many things, what I love about what you said. What I love, for one, is that you looked at different applications of this question in particular. So, okay, how do we structure an environment for focus? And maintaining 
a certain level of energy and production versus did we even remember to include that in the structure of say protecting um, our developer team's ability to focus? Did we even include that in the design and, and the systems like, like from that example that you gave, that's huge. Right. And, and then looking at different energy types of people. So someone who's a developer type is not going to be like, oh, ah, in the Instagram live, like we are like excited to be going back and forth. That types no, like they, their energy may look stoic, but is actually that's their version of focus. They're like lasered in and being precise. Right. And so honoring the different energy types as well as energy systems is um, one, two things um, that I'm celebrating what I heard from you. And then what I'm also celebrating what I heard from you is your awareness of being an empath and how that can affect your own unique ability to produce, right? And to, to have consistent production in your own business, your own workflow, right? Uh, because I know um, when we journey together, it's about us finding what's your specific recipe, right? For keeping you at a, a high performing, a high vibrating or a highly positive, a highly focused state, your special flavor, right? Victoria, what turns Victoria on may not necessarily be what turns Lisa on, what turns Dana on, right? What, what turns Mary on, what turns Brian on, what, tur what turns Alan on, et cetera. Yeah. Everyone has their unique recipe. And then also remembering that how you feel matters because, well, okay, let's go into this if you're open to it, um, Lisa. Was there a time, <laughs> loaded question incoming, was there, a, <laughs> was there a time where y you didn't feel good and you didn't prioritize that and you saw that that had an effect on your output in some way, shape, and form? I'm like, you know what? I'm not, like, I'm, I'm not on my A game or I'm not feeling very well, but how I feel doesn't matter. I'm going to suck it up and I'm going to push through and then that decision to not care about how you feel had an effect. Uh, did that ever happen? And if so, what was the effect? I'm curious. Well, it's interesting question. And I think a lot of people can relate to it because of COVID, right? That oh, yes. <laughs> Last year, you know, it affected a lot of our businesses um, and, um, you know, I, I mean, I, I'd say a few things. One, nobody wants a, a boring, sad, you know, person to be their leader, right? That it, you want somebody that is inspired, who is going to... Um, who has your back. And so you can't let yourself get in your way. And COVID was hard. It, it, um, it punched a lot of us in our stomachs, whether we were affected personally or, you know, just worried about our families and our community and, and the world. Um, so, um, you know, I think like many people, we had to endure it for a while and lick our wounds and, uh, and move forward. And uh, that's actually when I got into um, looking for um, a coach that wasn't just going to tell me to get on the phone, make phone calls, do what you, you know, I mean, I, I kind of know that type of stuff. I need somebody that was going to help me with my energy that, that I could go out and face the day and face the world, given the challenges that we had. And... Um, and actually, I, I went to your, your first Master Manifester um, challenge um, and was super inspired by it and uh, started to follow you, your podcast, and watch your YouTube videos. And, and then I did a second one, and that's when I decided to become one of your VIP 
folks in your circle um, and you helped my productivity level by helping me understand my energy and helping me maintain a high level of energy despite the challenges um, tremendously, like four times um, my, my productivity level of, you know, the previous year. And, and I think I've, I've gone on and, and hit that again. And, um, you know, it's not productivity level is not all about money. It's about, uh, being able to do what you love and help people and support people. Um, I just had a client, I'll give you a small example that, um, we've been looking for a house for, um, seven months. We've been looking for a house at the beach for them and their family. I've gotten to know their family, you know, very well. And we finally, we're able to get a house really hard. It's a competitive market right here with, um, for buyers. And I didn't give up on them. And um, as a matter of fact, so we just had our home inspection and they, you know, you get kind of battle scarred and you lose your momentum when you are, when your offer is not accepted four or five, six, seven times. So it was so exciting to see, seeing them measuring rooms at the place that they're buying right now and to see them visioning themselves and their families, you know, making great memories at this new beach house. So that, it, it was kind of a moment for me, um, a special moment for me. And I've had a lot of those since I've started real estate again, um, where it's all worthwhile you know, even if it takes a long time. So I um, thank you. I appreciate you and what you do to help everybody in our tribe. Um, yeah, to, to help other people, right? It, yeah. it gets passed along. Yeah, 100%. As you fill your cup to the point of overflowing, it spills over and then starts filling other people's cups. It's so magnificent to get to witness that in action. Like as you were speaking, my spirit guides kept saying, stamina to stay in the game. Yes. Real estate is a long term game. Sometimes the, like the, the big meaningful sales, the right, the right fit property, right? With the right fit buyer, with the right fit seller, right? This just, having the stamina to make sure that it's right and that the resonance is there. Um, it takes energy, it takes fuel in the tank and an energy consciousness so that you don't give up as Napoleon Hill would say and think and grow rich three feet from gold, right? Where you're drilling and 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 drilling. So you're just disheartened, right? Or as you said, Lisa, battle scarred of just <sighs> rejection after rejection after rejection after rejection. Um, if it becomes then about your rejection, we're running out of fuel in the tank. I'll put it on me. If I focus on the people who I'm, reaching out to, inviting, circling back to, if I focus on the no or not right nows, and if I make it, a, when I make it about me, I get exhausted, my energy level goes down. And what about, so okay, the one person, what about the 10 people behind them that are a huge, yes, I've been waiting, I've been searching for you up at 3 a.m., wondering who is not going to tell me something that I could actually use at this stage of the game. I already know how to sell, right? I already know how to run and market my business, right? I already know how to take care of my clients and deliver awesomeness. What, what I need is energy. Like my gas tank is on empty because, and you pick the perfect example of COVID, like just pushing conscious entrepreneurs heart-centered, heart-warrior business owners like yourself over the edge of just exhaustion. 
um, where you're a good person and you're doing good work out there in the world? And what's going to help you keep your chin up so that you can continue to serve the soulmate clients that you've been called to and who are calling out for you? It's an, a level of energy consciousness. And those, the, those sales coming through that are the right, even after all those months of searching for your client, you having this stamina to stay in the game and to keep lifting them up, right? And letting your client know, all right, we're just going to keep going because that's, that's your role essentially. But if you run out of gas, what are we going to do, right? So you having that consciousness, that energy consciousness and awareness and now the, the tools in your tool belt to make sure that your engines are humming, right? And you're staying inspired, staying juiced, staying motivated, um, staying full of light as the healer um, and disruptor that you are, the positive disruptor that I know you are, as you're staying in that role, more good can happen in the world. You know, what, for anyone else who, uh, like Lisa follows the podcast, you know, my favorite chant is when more good people make good money, more good happens in the world, right? And yeah. that's so, like, that's a rallying cry. One of the good people that I know who can make more good happen in the world and who do it when they're making good money because every time they get paid, somebody's life is being changed the same way. Uh, like Lisa, in your situation, you're changing these families' lives. But the more that that good person like you, you as a representative of our tribe, more good people like you can have good energy they can have that stamina to stay in the game. Yeah, this is so good. This is so good. And I also want to celebrate the challenges, how they've helped you. Like someone who is, okay, so you've been through two of my challenges, right? Um, before I uh, tell everyone a little bit more about the one that's coming up on Monday, could you just share like what, what was your favorite takeaway from being in more than like by the way why did you come back and do the same challenge again right it was, like you kind of think of it like didn't you graduate like what <laughs> why did you come back and do another challenge but like why did you come back and do another challenge and what was your favorite part and then i'll tell everyone about it all right and i'm gonna do another one now. <laughs> <laughs> so exciting we'll see you yeah there. you know it's an hour investment a day Right. Um, and most of us can figure out uh, an extra hour a day every, you know, whatever few months uh, to do something like this, if it's worthwhile. So um, that's kind of the way I looked at it. Why did I go to a second one and why am I going to a third one? Um, it, your challenges are like peeling away layers of an onion, you know, mm -hmm. at the surface level, they're very easy to understand. And they're very, um, they go along with a lot of the business uh, techniques that I've learned from, you know, Gary Keller, who's an amazing, amazing visionary. And, you know, all of the leadership training that I've had over many years. Um, so you're right in alignment with all of that, like kind of corporate stuff, but you are looking at it from an energy level. And um, so again, it's, it's peeling away layers. And uh, each time I, um, I just have new inspirations, new ideas. Uh, that would be one, one way to, to explain it. And I think the other way is I'm just at a different place in my life. So I'm going to hear different things than I heard before. Um, you know, and I'm really ready for my business to, to go from the level where I am right now to another level. Um, you know, my goals are to be able to, to help people with real estate, but also to be able to help people with the community activism and feng shui maybe a little bit of music as well, even if that's just to allow people to kind of relax, you know, on date night. Um, so, you know, I am looking to um, take my business, uh, my primary business, my real estate business to a new level. 
And so I'm looking forward to being inspired and having some new ideas in your um, next challenge. Yeah. And so it is. You're going to push us. And that's the other part of it. You know, I mean, a lot of people uh, have seminars and uh, webinars and you can listen and you can read books. But if you don't get that push and you're not being held accountable to actually take a small action, you know, take that first action, you're not going to really have any success. Mm -hmm. So I think you have you you have a very good blend of um, being very supportive and also kind of pushing you out of the nest. The baby birds are ready to fly. Go. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is actually my favorite part about having challenges is seeing everyone split, spread their wings and just go for it. Like one uh, thing about the challenges that I run, and by the way, this is, this is going to be the 15th challenge I've ever done. Oh my God. I've <laughs> Been doing these for years and they've continued to evolve over time. We're going through a whole new evolution. Like I'm evolving with you. But one keystone um, in our challenges is people coming in and reporting what they did. What are you celebrating? What are you creating? What are you releasing? And what are you requesting? And not just like, oh, let me like hide behind the camera and like, type it no 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 the, in our challenges people do this we go live to do those reports so it's about increasing your visibility to yourself first but also to our greater world right there are hundreds of entrepreneurs from all over the world um, in our challenge community and I'm so excited to get to see this conversation and collaboration continue to blossom together it's a really magnificent thing um, that we've built over the years and so with that being said let me tell you uh first lisa and everyone who's like peeking in watching hi put hashtag live if you're watching on the instagram live um what we're going to be covering next week so this uh -huh. is the be visionary challenge right the the idea behind this, right, the big, the big idea is this. We all, as conscious entrepreneurs, right, um, community leaders, right, as conscious individuals, heart-centered business owners, we all have a vision for our lives and for ourselves. Maybe we've put it on goal cards. Maybe we put it on the wall in vision boards. Maybe we've written it in our journals, uh, one day I'm going to do this or my, my sales goal is this, right? We've done plans and strategic planning and set things in motion. But what I've seen is that there's a lot of dangling of the carrot and dreaming big versus being big. And in Reiki, for all, shout out to all my Reiki masters who are watching right now. We have a saying, it's just for today, just for today. Um, every one of the five Reiki principles begins with that phrase, just for today. And so for this challenge, we're going to take that approach of just for today. And we're going to apply it to all five days of just for today. I am going to be the vision that I see for myself um, I'm going to be, I'm going to embody it. So on day one, we are going to approach what is the physical block that's stopping you from being the vision. We're going to look at the physical aspect so that you can ground your visionary. On day two, we are going to approach the mental block. What is the mental block that is keeping you from being the vision? And so that's going to be visionary storytelling right? So we could release those mental blocks. On day three of five, it's going to be the emotional blocks we're going to approach. And this is actually what you and I were talking about quite a bit on this um, live stream, Lisa, is what is, what are the emotions that are keeping us from 
really being the visionary? What is draining our emotional energy, right? So this is day three is about fuel, your fuel as a visionary, fueling the visionary. Day four is what are the environmental blocks that are keeping you from expressing that vision, right? So that could, um, that's more about structuring, visionary structuring, having the systems, the space, the feng shui, right, that is in alignment with you being the vision that you see for yourself and your business. And then on day five, we're going to approach what are the directional blocks that are keeping you from expressing that vision for yourself. So what is what do I mean by directional? This is aligning your visionary of what are you aligning to? Are you headed in the right direction? Do you know how to point yourself in the right direction? Because that's all about shamanic vision journey meditation. You and I know that. That's you calibrating your inner compass. Um, by the way, on Saturday, we're going to have a bonus day that covers the financial box. So is there anything around money mindset that's keeping you from being able to be that vision that you see for yourself. And that is, of course, visionary selling because there are quite a few members of our tribe who have some sticky energy around sales. But you and I, Lisa, know that sales is just service, right? And we're supporting, helping people find what they're already looking for, right? So we're going to lift that block as well. And we're going to every day at 7 p.m. Eastern, come on, Zoom, if you're joining the VIP, which you're a VIP because you're in my inner circle, uh, we're going to come on Zoom. We're going to hold each other accountable to are you being the visionary today? How did you do that? Right. This is at 7 p.m. We're going to live on Zoom Interactive, hold each other accountable to that. And then at 730, we're going to then go live in the Facebook group, the Be Visionary Entrepreneur Master Manifestors Facebook group. And we're going to stream the inspiration of the day around being the vision, right? Being and embodying that action step of each day. There are workbooks and all kinds of things. So for those of you who are watching and right now, if you want to join Lisa and I and the entire tribe, it starts Monday. So it's coming up quick, right? If you want to join us, click the link in my bio here on Instagram and that'll take you to the registration page and we will see you next week. Lisa, is there anything else that you wanted to add? Any final love, support, inspiration for our fam watching in right now? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm excited. It's super comprehensive, everything that you just described. Um, I will say for my West Coast uh, friends and family that that's actually four o'clock our time, four and 4.30. Um, I hope you guys join. As I said, it's, um, it's free. And um, so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Um, and in addition, uh, you know, I, I think the first time when I watched it, um, you know, I didn't do a lot of the live stuff. I, I had to get my courage up, you know, even though I can get up on stage and sing. Um, being on Facebook and talking to the world is a whole different thing. So, um, and you don't make us get up there and talk to the world, but you encourage it. And it's, it's what we want to do. So, um, you know, in this world, that's, that's where many of our business is, you know, and, and, uh, and also just our ability to reach so many more people. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. Um, I'm on a journey of learning more about energy. Um, I feel like I'm just, you know, right at the beginning of the, um, at the bottom of the mountain, you know, and I'm, I'm climbing up there and it's, it's an amazing journey. So um, thank you for having me. Yeah. yeah. And it's an honor to be your journey partner. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Same here. Absolutely. So everyone, We'll see you in the challenge. Click the link in the bio. Lisa, goddess, thank you for sharing so abundantly. Sending you all so much love. Mwah! My pleasure. <laughs> all right, everyone. Bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>